Sasa, and I'm a sophomore at North Platte High School. And this poem is called Colored Pencil Eyes. My little sister has light brown hair, like coffee with too much cream, which happens to be just how she drinks it in the early morning, insisting she'll drink it all, then leaving half the cup cold on the desk for me to clean up. My little sister has freckles dotting her nose, like the stars we lie in the driveway looking at, hoping and praying to see a shooting star. I never see one, but she does, and she describes it as the most brilliant thing in the sky. My little sister has exquisite hazel eyes, blending perfectly from emerald to cappuccino like the colored pencil she glides seamlessly in her sketchbook, full of the art she creates. My little sister is beautiful, like the many flowers I stopped to photograph on our walk. She says, stop taking pictures, because she never sees the beauty quite like I do. My little sister is quiet, yet well-spoken, shy, yet strong, independent, yet loving, logical, yet a dreamer. And my little sister, her brain never stops running. Those colored pencil eyes flick back and forth as she worries endlessly. Those colored pencil eyes stare hardwired at the paper as she writes a beautiful story. Those colored pencil eyes lock with mine as we think the same thing at the same time with the telepathy only sisters understand. My little sister is intelligent. The box she thinks outside of is not even in view as her thoughts race through the night sky. That brilliant meteor mind is always out of reach. But instead of admiring, she's worrying. Of the storm yet to come, of what people think, of her friends as they hurt, of her family when they're ill, of the wind slapping the windows, she is always worrying. It's not her fault, of course. Her meteor mind soars too far, and everyone knows you can't stop a meteor. I often wonder about my little sister's future. Maybe someday she will find the person of her dreams, and her charming children will go to the theater and see their mother's animation up on the big screen. Maybe a young man will walk into a tattoo shop, and my little sister will honor his mother in the most beautiful way. Maybe she'll wake up early in the morning and drive to work, and 25 little children will smile with glee at the sight of their favorite teacher. I know that someday my little sister will make me proud as she leads a life of her dreams. But for now, she sneaks into my bed late at night and closes her colored pencil eyes and calms her meteor mind. And I stroke her cold coffee hair and hold her as she falls asleep. Thank you.